Good afternoon. It is 4.59 p.m. and December 8th, 2018. And it's a Saturday. Happy Saturday, folks. I had to uh, stop recording this thing at some point because it was getting too long so you don't get to see all of the coloring. And I'm glad I did because I kept it right under 11 minutes. I keep telling you guys, gotta, I got to like scale them back and make them shorter because the, the last three or four have been around 10 minutes. So I don't know. Uh, I want to keep them under 10. I want you guys to keep coming back, watching this stuff. I got this afternoon. This, I got this afternoon. I got this idea. Okay, I, I woke up not too long ago. I'm having some caffeine now. Um, I got this idea yesterday afternoon. Um, and I just sat on it all day, waiting for the evening. And I started. Then I went to sleep about midnight. I thought, eh, it don't matter. It's Saturday. It don't matter if I'm late. And um, I started drawing about 5 a.m. And guess what? I didn't finish this thing until about uh, a little bit after 11. I procrastinated a little bit. But it just really, really took some time. It, it did. Um, of course, I procrastinated. Um, it's kind of funny. Before I published, someone actually messaged me on Twitter asking if there would be a new cartoon today. And that kind of makes me feel good. I mean, kind of annoying, too. But it made me feel good that some people were sitting there waiting, like, I don't see a new cartoon from that play guy. So. There's other cartoonists that they could be looking for, but they're looking for me. All right. Of course, most cartoonists don't publish on Saturdays. Like if you go to editorialcartoonist.com where they post all the cartoonists and their new cartoons, it's just like four, and it's like three of them are amateurs. So I don't know. Uh, this is a fun note. Um, right when I started recording to draw this crowd scene, all the people, um, I went. I, I have a subscription to Amazon Music, and it's really, really cool. It's like seven bucks for a month, and but you get basically every song you ever wanted, and you can put it into like as if you own the album. You can just put in everything that you want. And um, I started listening to uh, STP's core, the, the entire album, and I listened to it without skipping any songs from front to back, even though it's digital, front to back. And throughout the entire time that I took to draw this girl, and it was fifty-four minutes. So uh, even though there's like five micro videos that I put together. One of the videos is 54 minutes. And when I con condensed it down, it's like five. So, so, yeah. This is an hour of me drawing people. Cut down to about five minutes. So, there's a guy. There's another one. There's another one. Look, there's another one. There's another one. Look, there goes another one. There goes another one. There goes another one. There goes another one. There go I'm not. I can do that all five minutes. Uh, I'm not. Um, I was also trying to picture if this was the way that I wanted to do it, like in my head before I started drawing. Did I want to make a close-up shot of the gate, maybe from the, the American border perspective, and then showing the crowd going off into the distance, or did I want it this way? And I just kind of stuck on doing it this way. This is the first image that I got in my head for it. So I went with it. There are a few little surprises in the crowd. Okay, there's just only one, but <laughs> still. I bet nobody in the world finds it though, or sees it. So I'm not gonna tell anyone is it is in there. There's another guy. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Yay! There's another one. Um, the coloring got to be a bit of a chore, but I, I kept listening to music. Whenever you do stuff like this, here's some advice, and a lot of artists know this, or they know it. And uh, not knows it, they know it. And but I think we kind of forget some things as we go through time. This is not an artistic detail I'm going to tell you because I'm not the person to educate anyone on that kind of stuff. But it's when you got to draw something that's kind of grueling, like a crowd scene, and uh, you don't want to just draw a whole bunch of circles. You want to actually draw faces, you know, or, or anything else that takes a while that you're just going that. The tip for doing something like that is just lose yourself in it. Just forget everything else going on in your life or that you have to do or whatever and really stop procrastinating at that point. And, I, and since I sat there for 54 minutes um, with occasional sips of coffee, um, lose yourself in it. Just uh, dedicate yourself that you're going to do this and listen to music. 
get put on the headphones and uh and yeah get lost in a good album and something that you don't have to skip around or you start looking for a different song uh because that's that leads to more procrastination it does for me and i'm gonna do that again i'm gonna do it next time i draw i know it um but if you can just sit there and listen to something non-stop constant it's a good way to do stuff like this whenever you're being creative whether it's drawing or you're you're knitting or whatever um painting building something just that's the best way to put it with art you're you're building something with all sorts of different types of art all right here wants some shout outs drawing this was not as bad as coloring it it's good uh, Ariel had a good day yesterday. She did find uh, her uh, best having a life that was uplifting and spiritual. Shooting uh, paper targets. Um, and uh, as she says on an FB photo album full of target pics. I have not seen that. Are we Facebook friends, Ariel? Mm -hmm. um, Ariel has absolutely no violent thoughts toward people, but paper F that S. Probably the F that sh. Always giving me paper cuts. Die paper. You know, this is all digital, so you don't have to like wanna. I'm kind of there with you. I I have not received a paper cut from a cartoon in over a year, over three years, or over two years. I don't remember anymore. Three years, three years. Um, actually, I think in May it'd be three years. When did I? Uh, oh yes, yeah, 2016. I started doing these things, so I guess uh in May. So uh, it's been two and a half years. That's it. Is my timing? Is that right? Yeah. Um. So, uh, but occasionally when I put the keyboard back on the, um, the tablet, I, I might pinch my finger. And you know what? It hurts. It hurts. It's, 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 I actually had two aquariums because I was really, really, really nuts about fish. I don't know why. I just really, really, I still like fish, I, but I don't have any now. I don't have an aquarium or anything. I don't have. I used to have snakes too, but I don't have any animals or anything I, right now. I don't really, really want any any maintenance. <laughs> um, and Arrow's gonna have wicked games stuck in her head. Damn it! What a wicked thing to say. You never felt that way. What a wicked thing to do. What a dream of you. I don't know. I don't know the chords of that song, but it's real simple. If you don't do all the reverb -y. All right. Um, Errol said when African Americans write or protest. Sorry about that, by the way. It's awful, threatening, dangerous, proof of racist notions, etc. When white people do it, they're heroes, patriotic, enthusiastic, mad, happy about a sports team's loss, win, etc. I was having this part of my brain went, duh. Yeah. I, I'm with you. I went kind of dead when you were, when I was reading it. All right. Uh, Errol says, now when you say your friend in Paris, he quit at the writers to the Tea Party people. Do you mean the Boston Tea Party? Were they protested taxation without representation? Thanks for the update. Or thanks for the reminder. Uh, are the right-wing or nut, right -wing nut jobs that recently crawled out of the woodwork? She's talking about the ones that recently crawled out of the woodwork. Uh, yeah, the bad ones. The stupid ones. The ones that really, 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 really were like, we don't like all this government spending being done by a black dude. We were fine with it when a white president was doing it. But no, Obama's elected and they're like, oh my God, we gotta go out here stop this. Oh my God. He's, he's gonna, he's, 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 he's a hard government. He's gonna raise taxes and stuff. And he didn't raise no other taxes at all. Um, Errol, you're my only commenter. What the hey? And Errol says she's not being a fun editor. Ask an honest question. Well, I say PM in the afternoon. I don't know if it's a coll colloquialism or what. Jerk. Colloquialism. Oh yeah, I bad. I, I, I can't enunciate it today or ever. But so uh, you see me draw all these people, and you see me color most of the faces. At some point in the middle, I'm just like. You don't need to see me do this all day, right? Uh, maybe I should have like not recorded the faces being colored and uh, recorded me coloring all oh, the clothes and the hair. Yeah, I should have done that. I didn't 
move any shading to their faces at all either. See, now it's done. And you know who I thought of when I was doing this? And I and I just kind of realized it lately. Uh, Sergio Aragonas. Uh, he drew a lot of those little tiny people crowd scenes. And maybe that's where I get it from. I just thought of that. Or did I just think of it before and then forget that I thought of it before? I don't know. Um, thanks for coming by. I don't know if I want to do a cartoon tonight or not. I don't know. Um, I shouldn't because I'm ahead of this thing's happening. Come back tomorrow. Click the red button. Goodbye. Goodbye.